Hi, I'm Rob with GoRoute Team Success. I'm going to show you just how fast you can get started calling pitches in your new GoRoute pitch call system. After logging into your pitch call app for the first time, you'll be directed to what's known as the Games tab. A quick overview of the app shows that there are three tabs at the bottom of your screen, which are your Games, Offensive, and Defensive tabs. This orange indicator button will tell you which tab you're currently viewing. In the top right corner, you'll see this plus sign, which is your Add New button. In the top left corner, these three horizontal lines will bring up your menu panel. To get started, I recommend starting with either your offensive or defensive tabs, as those are the tabs that are specific to your team, regardless of which game you're actually in. Let's move to the offensive tab first. For an example, I put in hit and run as a potential offensive play that a team might run during a game. To add new offensive plays, click the plus sign in the top right corner to bring up this add offensive play box. Type in whatever offensive play you'd like to add, and then click Save. After a second or two, you'll see the Cancel button change to Done, and then you'll see the offensive play come up back here on the script. If you want to add a new offensive play, go ahead and add another one, and then click Save again. Remember that it's necessary to hit Save after every offensive play that you type in so it properly imports into your offensive play script. Whenever you're finished, click the Done button to return to that screen. From there in the future, if you need to add more offensive plays, go ahead and click the plus sign again. Or if you need to edit or delete any of the plays that are in your offensive play tab, just slide left on that play, and then it'll bring up your edit or delete buttons. From there, you've already learned how to add your offensive plays, and you're halfway there. Next, let's move over to the defensive tab. Your defensive tab, or your pitch groups, or pitch calls, are the way for you to organize all of your defensive calls in a way that best fit your team best. So right here, I put in two examples of ways that you might want to organize your pitch groups that might fit your team. One option could be by pitch itself. So here you have the option, which is fastball, which is the pitch group name. Under fastball, I have fastball in, fastball out, and fastball high as three options. If you want to add a new pitch under a pitch group, simply click the plus sign, and let's add fastball low as our fourth option under that pitch group. So like we did before, you'll see cancel turn to done. Let's click done and it'll show fastball low underneath our fastball pitch group right here. So another option that you might want to organize your pitch groups uh, is by pitcher themselves. So here I have a pitcher named Rob and Rob has the ability to throw a fastball, a curveball, a slider. And let's say we want to add one more again and we want to add a changeup to Rob's repertoire. So we'll go ahead and add changeup, hit save and then we'll hit done once again. So from there, we'll see change up pop up right here under uh, Rob's pitch group, and that way we can organize it from there. If we wanna add another pitch group itself, or if you wanna change it up and, and do something like adding an outfield shift group, maybe an infield shift group, those are options as well. You can go ahead and go through the same process, create the pitch group, open up the pitch group, and then hit plus in the top right corner to add pitches or to add plays under that defensive pitch group. So the one key detail when you're adding pitch groups or pitches is that if you want to add a pitch group, you shouldn't see any open pitch groups on that page right here. All three of them should be down arrow and all, four, all of them should be closed. That way it will bring up the plus sign and will say add pitch group. If you want to add a pitch itself underneath that pitch group, go ahead and click into the group and then you're gonna click the plus sign in the top right corner. Then it'll say add new pitch. From there, you'll be able to customize that defensive tab however you see fit for your team. Once you have both of those tabs ready to go, time to play ball. Let's move over to the games tab, hit the plus sign in the top right corner, and let's get started with our first game. So the default date for each game will be the date that you're putting in or you're creating that game for the first time. So for this example, we'll use game one, and then we'll use Christmas Day as our game one game. So from there, as we did before, we'll go ahead and click save. And then if you wanna go ahead and pre-upload your schedule, if you wanna get ahead of time, you can go ahead and click them one at a time and then change the dates for each one. And that way it'll change as you go. And then as you save the dates, we'll go ahead and click done. And then on your games tab, you'll see game one, our Christmas date, game two, day after Christmas. So. From there, you'll be able to add in all your game lists, or if you just want to work out of one game, all of your pitch groups and your offensive tabs will all be the same regardless of which game you're currently working under. So you won't have to worry about which games have which offensive tabs or defensive tabs or anything like that. So let's go in. The last thing that we need to do before we're ready to uh, activate a game 
is click into that game and let's add a lineup. So for starters, we're going to click manage lineup and that'll take us to opponent lineup. Just to confirm that we're going to see which proper game and the date that that game is meant to be played. From there, let's click the plus sign in the top right corner. And here are your options that you could simply add a player number for the opposing lineup, or you can add the player name if you want to as well. But just simply a number is require, required. So let's go ahead and add a couple players into our lineup for an example. And we'll add three of them just as we did before. Make sure we click save after each one, and then we click done. So from here, you'll see the player number pop up along with the name if you input it. And the last feature that we have, which is a great feature to be able to use, is right here by, text, by pressing this text, bop, uh, text bubble. So this text bubble will bring up our lineup messaging feature. So from here, you'll have the ability to send a personalized message to whatever pitcher or player position that has on that specified watch. So from here, for our first uh, hitter number two, our, our first batter, if we wanted to say uh, watch bunt, and we want every single player on that uh, position, when player two comes up or when the first batter comes up, we want every single pitcher, or excuse me, every single player on the field to get a notification that says watch bunt. If we want our third baseman to move up, we can go ahead and add in the same, uh, in the same lineup card for that batter for a different position on what we want that detail to be. So for each player, you can go ahead and, and set specific messages. If you want them to go to all, we'll set it under all and so on and so forth. For pitcher, catcher, first base, you can set them by positions on the field. Once we've gone ahead and put in those messages, we'll go ahead and click the, um, the X sign in the top right corner, and we'll see lineup messages saved, which will be this pop-up right here. After a second or two, that'll go away, or you can hit dismiss, and then we can carry on with our day. So uh, once we're ready to go, we've got the lineup installed. Let's go ahead and go back to our games tab and activate a game. So it's really important when we activate our first game that we want to make sure that our phone is outside. We have all the player message or all the player devices outside as well. And specifically that our Wi-Fi is turned off on our coach's sending device or our coach's phone. However, we're using the app to send in our pitches. It's very important that the Wi-Fi is off for them to properly be received by the player devices. So you'll notice once we activate a game here, we have our player device, which is worn by all the players on the field. And once a game is activated, that player device will have a pop-up of all the positions that could be chosen on the field. So for example, we want to go ahead and choose the third baseman, since that's one that we know that we had a specific message in. So from there, we'll go ahead and choose the third baseman, and you'll see that player device is now waiting for play. So we've activated our game. We're ready to go. So now when we're up from the offensive tab, it's very easy. When we're on offense and we have guys on base, we want to hit run called. It's as simple as pressing that play. And within a few seconds, you'll see that player device buzz, and that message will pop up right there for that player. When we come to the defensive side of the ball, that's where we get to use the different pitch groups, or specifically the different uh, positions that we have on the field. So you'll notice when we have an activated game, this defensive tab now shows this bar, which is select hitter. From there, this is how you'll change the hitter for each hitter that comes up during the game. If at any point you need to edit or you need to change the lineup, simply click Manage Lineup down here, and you can add hitters, remove hitters, make all the necessary lineup changes that you need. As you go through and you need to deselect a hitter or you need to change hitters, you have that option here as well. So for the first one, since we know the first batter's up, let's go ahead and select that first batter. We'll select our fastball, and let's lead off the game. Fastball in. Perfect. You'll see the pitch call, which has been called in right here. You'll see the player message, which was set for all, which is watch bunt. And then since this is a third baseman's watch, we'll see the specific player message pop up right here on that watch. So that player will have an, a very easy readable screen to be able to see the pitch that's called. He'll be able to see any messages that pop up for him as well. So a quick little tidbit on the player device. If at any point you need to change the player's position, you can go ahead and click the side button that's located right there. And not only can you change the position, but you also have the option to change the toggle darkness as well. So if you want to change from light to dark, you can go ahead and change that as well. So uh, that's a very basic overview as you get started very quickly into calling games. Remember, when you are finished with the game, go back to the games tab and you'll go ahead and, and click the toggle button for off. The last thing I'll ask you is if you'd like to confirm end game. From there, you can go ahead and click yes, confirm. So. That's how easy it is to get up and running on your new Go Route Pitch Call app. If you have any questions regarding your app, you want to see more information on features such as player messaging, 
how to add or delete new coaches from your account, uh, how to turn your phone into player view. Be sure to check out our knowledge base at support.goroute.com. Thank you very much. And we're looking forward to a great season with you.